Okay, good morning boys and girls. Welcome to uh, our home PE lesson number two, Tuesday the 24th of March 2020. Hope everyone's doing really well. Um, the way we're going to be doing these workouts is going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to ask you guys to not tune in to me doing a fitness workout, but Joe Wicks is doing a fitness workout every single day, which is available on his YouTube. He goes live at 9 o'clock every morning, but that video is um, uploaded onto YouTube, so you guys could take part in that as part of our fitness challenge, as part of trying to keep Elm active. Okay, so I'm going to put a link to that in the description and I'm going to put it on the Facebook and the Twitter so you guys can click straight on it and you can get going with that workout straight away. And then once you finish that workout, you can come to me and I'm not going to be doing fitness, I'm going to be doing some different types of skills, some agility, some balance, some coordination, where you might need a ball or something like that as part of it, okay? Can I just say well done to those children that uploaded a picture or a video yesterday. The ones I managed to see were Leo, Sophie, Oliver, Jamie, Toby, Poppy, um, and well done to Kate, uh, oh, Marcy and Harley as well, and well done to Caden and Sam for joining in with the Joe Wicks yesterday morning, okay? Now, for this activity that we're doing today, it's going to be a coordination task, and all you're going to need is a ball. If you have a ball at home, but if you don't have a ball, I'm going to get you to get yourself a ball of socks like this. Okay, I'm going to give everybody mm, 10 seconds to go and get themselves a ball of socks or a ball as quickly as they can. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax there. Hopefully you're all stood back in front of me with a ball of socks or a ball in front of you. I'm going to be using a ball of socks because I know every single one of you has got those at home. Okay, we're going to be looking at some catching today. So just throwing it up and catching them to yourself. Remember when we're catching, we're gonna use our bucket hands, we're gonna link our fingers together like this, and we're gonna make a nice cut for the ball or socks to land in, okay? So, have a watch carefully as I start. I'm gonna throw it up, and I'm gonna catch it, and I'm gonna cushion my hands down, okay? Now, for our warm up to start with, we're just gonna do 10 of those. Just 10, throw them into the air. One, two, three, four, Five, making sure we're keeping our eyes nice and firmly on whatever we're catching, eyes on the prize. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now if you drop it at any point, don't worry, feel free to pause me at any time if you want to carry on practice one of the practicing one of the skills that we're looking at. Um, but try and get as many catches as you can, okay? So feel, feel free to pause me now if you want to. Get as many catches in as you possibly can. Okay, remember, don't worry if you drop it. Keep practicing and keep looking at whatever you're catching, whether it's, ball, whether it's a pair of socks, whether it's a ball, or if some of you have got a beanbag at home, you might be using a beanbag to throw up in the air as well. Cut. Okay, now the warm-up's done. Okay, you should have got as many catches in as you could. Trying to throw the ball up as uh, ball up as many times as you can, keeping your eyes on it and catching it. Remember to use our cup hands when we're catching. Now we're going to move on to some challenges. Okay, challenge number one is going to be just to be thrown up and see if you can catch it ten times. Catch it ten times. But if you complete challenge number one, you're on level one. You're going to move up to the next level. And if you complete challenge number two, you're going to move up to the next level, next level, next level. And you're going to see what the highest level you can get to is, just like if you're playing a game. Now, if you manage to do ten catches without dropping the ball, then you get to move up to the next level. Now, if at any time you drop and it hits the floor, don't worry about it. But you are going to start again. So if you're on one, two, three, and you drop it. Oh, no, I've dropped it. 
then you are going to start, <laughs> start all over again. So let's get to 10. One, two, if you get to 10, well done, you've made it to the next level. Next level is as follows. You're going to add one clap in. One, two, three. Okay, if you manage to make it all the way to 10 with that one clap, you make it to the next level. Okay, hopefully some of you at home might be able to guess what the next level is. Some of you are guessing it right, I'm sure. Some of you are shouting at the screens. Next level is two claps. So we're going to go two, two. Remember, if you drop it at any time, just start again. Stay on that level. Start again. So if you get to, even if you get to nine double claps and then it hits the floor and you drop it, you've got to start again. We haven't quite made it to that next level, okay? Just trying to test you and how good our catching is, how good our coordination is, okay? Then we'll move up to the next level if you can. This one's gonna be really tricky, it's three claps. Perfect, three claps all the way to 10, and the super challenge that we're gonna look for is can, can anyone do four claps? Okay, some of you might be at home and you might be doing four claps easily, and you might move up to five claps, six claps, seven claps, eight claps, and so on, okay? I wanna see if you can challenge yourself. Remember, feel free to pause the video at any point. Now might be a good time to pause it, to go and have a practice, do that challenge. Once you've got to the highest number you can get to on that challenge, come back to the video for your next challenge, okay? And relax. Okay guys, welcome to our challenge now. In our challenge today, we're still gonna be using the same piece of equipment as we were using before, whether that's a ball of socks, whether that's a, a ball, whether that's a bean bag, and we're gonna see how many claps we can get. Now in order to do this, you're gonna to need to throw whatever you've got a little bit higher. Now if you're inside, I didn't want you to worry. Okay, just get do, uh, if you haven't got a garden, if you got, haven't got any outside space, this can definitely be done indoors, so do not worry. You might have to go onto your knees so you can throw, so you'll convert a little bit higher maybe. Now, what's gonna happen is this, you're gonna start off just with a catch. Okay, and if you get a catch, you're then gonna move on to one clap. If you move on to one clap, you're gonna go to two. If you move on to two claps, you're gonna go to three. If you move on to three claps, you're gonna go to four. If you move on to four claps, you're gonna to go to five. If you move on to five claps, you're gonna to go to six. If you move on to six claps, you're gonna to go to seven. If you move on to seven claps, you're gonna to go to eight. If you move on to eight claps, you're gonna to go to nine. If you move on to nine claps, you're gonna to go to 10. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now, it's up to you to see what the highest number of claps you can get to is. If you drop it at any point, you're going to start again. You're going to start from one. Let's try and get some videos online again using the hashtag KeepElmActive. Get as many videos up as we can. Remember to practice. Go back for the video. Practice any of the skills. Most important things are keep your eye on the prize. Keep your hands in a nice cup shape when we're cap catching the ball. And... Good luck, hope, hope to see lots of videos, lots of photos of you taking part at home. Well done everyone.